Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm in Manchester and I'm looking for the grave of Sir Matt Busby. Now, I'm not a big football fan, but I know this guy was super important. So let's get, let's waste no more time, let's get off. I've been given a little map so I know where to go. If you ever come to these places to find it, ask for the map and uh, they'll give you advice. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, Sir Matt, he was Manchester United's football manager. Renowned as one of the best managers, of course. And he managed them from 1945 to uh, 1969. And then for the second half of the 1970-71 season. So he was definitely renowned as one of the best as a manager. And uh, I remember him very well. So I've been told it's G-plot. So we've got to head down here. I don't know a lot about football. I've got to tell you a tiny little story, it's true. Uh, I did the website for Sir Roger Moore, I was his web manager and the first time I'd not met him yet was at Manchester United. I was invited there to, Alex Ferguson was a UNICEF ambassador, so was Sir Roger. And I got there and was given a bit of a, you know, these passes were VIP passes they call them. And I was on the pitch taking photographs and Roger was coming out in the half time with Sir Alex for photographs. Anyway. Um, I said to people, is Manchester United a good football team? They killed themselves laughing. You know, it shows you how much I know. <laughs> and while I was there, um, the, the, the only person that I recognised taking a corner was David Beckham. I think he had the ponytail then. <laughs> I didn't know any of the other footballers. And uh, when Roger came out, I went over to meet him and he saw me and started to run away couldn't understand what's going on we'd never met anyway to cut a long story short there was a guy who was like a stalker and I won't, I'm not going to name him because he's actually a TV film producer now um, but he was sort of besotted by Roger and he they thought was a friend of mine and I didn't even know him he'd been sort of contacting me and saying can you give me Roger's number which I didn't have actually um, so they linked me up at that moment I thought I was like him, a bit of an idiot basically, stalking him, and I wasn't. So eventually I got hold of his latest PA that had just taken over from his old PA and explained it all and it was it was all put, put to rights, you know. And we carried on as okay there. Roger never quite got happy with me though, totally, I've got to be honest. He was always a bit nervous, which is silly really. Sir Alexandru Matthew Busby, CBE, KCSG. 26th of May 1909 to the 20th of January 1994 was a Scottish football player and manager who managed Manchester United between 1945 and 1969 and again for the second half of the 1970-71 season. He was the first manager of an English team to win the European Cup and was widely regarded as one of the greatest managers of all time. Before going into management, Busby was a player for two of Manchester United's greatest rivals, Manchester City and Liverpool. During his time at City, Busby played in two FA Cup finals, winning one of them. After his playing career was interrupted by the Second World War, Busby was offered the job of assistant coach at Liverpool, but they were unwilling to give him the control over the first team that he wanted. As a result, he took a vacant manager's job at Manchester United instead, where he built the famous Busby Babe team. Eight of these players died in the Munich air disaster, but Busby rebuilt the side and United won the European Cup a decade later. In a total of 25 years with the club, he won 13 trophies. On the fringe of a Munich airport lies the wreckage of an airliner still smouldering from a crash in which 21 people were killed. Manchester United, the finest soccer team Britain has produced since the war. And seven of them died in the crash. Ten others, as well as their famous manager, Matt Busby, were injured. Now I've been told it's G-plot. It's jugging it down with rain. This is G-plot. So we're going to head in here. Swing the camera around. We'll head in. Look. He said, look on the left-hand side, not too far, they're really helpful. And uh, they give you a map, telling you where to go. 
Um, so you really do have to struggle, even in an enormous uh, graveyard like this. So, uh, yep, I've seen it already, see? It's pretty easy when you know. Let's move in. So Matt Busby. Let's move in and read this story. In loving, hang on, in loving memory of Lady Jean Busby, the beloved wife of Sir Matt, much loved mother of Sheena and Sandy, and dear Nana, died the 19th of December 1988, aged 80 years, forever in her hearts, and her devoted husband, Sir Matt Busby. CBE KCSTG. Don't know what that means, but in loving a loving father of Sandy, Sheena and S loving father of Sheena and Sandy and dear granddad Matt died on the 20th of January 1994 aged 90 years no longer in our lives to share but in our hearts you are always there there we go well Sir Matt thank you ever so much for the great football time and memories you gave to lots of fans Manchester United fans and all that kind of thing well done so Matt Busby so if you've enjoyed the video today subscribe and ding the bell of course and you'll see more as soon as they pop up and give me a thumbs up and a comment and I'll get back to you of course I hope you have a lovely day everybody and uh, see you soon take care